What's going on guys? I cannot hold in my smile. By the title of this video, you know that we are going to Africa. The motherland, people. Woo! We are going to Nairobi, Kenya. I am super excited and I can barely hold it all in. Listen guys, this has been a lifelong dream of mine. Ever since my brother would always send me postcards from all the various countries that he's been to, I've always wanted to go to Africa. Ever since my dad beat in my head since I was a youngin what it was to be pro-black, I've always wanted to go to Africa. From my mom putting me into an international school as a young boy, I've always wanted to go to Africa. And today, we are embarking on our trip to the motherland. Whew. I can't say that I'm not a little nervous. I typically don't get nervous on trips, but it's something different about this one. Right now we're in the cold weather of Ohio, but eventually we will be in the warm weather of Nairobi, Kenya. All right guys, are y'all ready to embark on this amazing adventure of the motherland, Nairobi, Kenya? Yes sir. Pack your bags and let's get going. Y'all know what I gotta say, right? Aye! Let's get it. Okay guys, made it to the airport. I knew it was going to be something y'all. Right now to travel to Nairobi, Kenya, you need a negative PCR test. Knowing me, I come extra prepared. I have three negative PCR tests. Because the first one I gave the lady, she was looking so concerned like, Oh, is he going to make it in time? <laughs> You got the right one, lady. I don't really come prepared, I come over prepared. She just kept asking me questions like, so do you have your visa? Yeah, I have my visa. She was trying to catch me up. I'm not the one you're gonna catch up. But guys, other than that, the airport is super dead. Travel is looking shaky, but not for your boy, cause I'm not scared of this. Check this out. It's not busy at all, guys. But I don't know how it's gonna be when we get to these other locations, but right now here in Columbus, it is dead. I'm super early. My flight doesn't leave until 622. It is currently 343. If you're late, if you're early, you're late. Listen, man, my dad always told me that. I always forget that thing. But always be on time, people. And being on time is being early. I'm going from Columbus to Atlanta. I only have an hour. So that's going from a domestic gate to an international gate. That's shaky. Then we're going from Atlanta to Amsterdam. That's eight hours. Whew, it's gonna be tough, but it doesn't stop there. Then we're going from Amsterdam to Nairobi, Kenya. That's another eight hours. So all in all, this is like an 18 hour trip. Oh, he needs God. some milk. Only the strong survive. This is a trip that I've been waiting for my whole life. I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready to explore. We're gonna see so much stuff. Laura willing, of course, we're not there yet, but if you're seeing this, we made it. I'm gonna try to get some work done. If anything exciting happens, you know, I'm gonna let y'all see it. All right, y'all, let's get to the motherland, baby. Let's get it. Okay guys, we're on the plane to Amsterdam. This is one leg of the flight to Nairobi. It's a leg. Man. This is like the biggest plane like I've been on. See, I got my little comfortable neck thing. I'm about to try to chill. Listen, I'm not gonna try to pee or anything this whole eight hours. I'm about to see what they got on this little TV right here. All right, y'all, peace. Okay guys, so I'm still at Amsterdam airport. The flight was delayed, but they're saying that the catering was late. Dude, forget catering, bro. Like this can affect me actually getting into the country because the PCR has to be 96 hours. Let me get back at y'all. This is about to be a long flight, eight hours. I'm gonna try to sleep this whole flight. Get there around 10, 30, 11. Let's go to Nairobi. Hi. Okay guys, made it to Nairobi, Kenya. Right now I'm in the Airbnb. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more of that tomorrow. It is currently 1.30 Kenya time. The airport was crazy. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm about to go to sleep. But please believe tomorrow we are going to explore Nairobi, Kenya. We made it, people. Let's get it. All right, y'all. See you tomorrow. Aye! Good morning, Kenya! Woo! What's going on, guys? Today, 
We are heading to Maasai Market, people. Maasai Market is a known market here in Nairobi. You can pick up all sorts of things from clothing to souvenirs. And what I want to get, a bracelet, baby. I have my Kenyan friend here. She's going to tell us more about Maasai Market and Nairobi in general. Hi. So tell them your name and tell them about Maasai Market. My name is Wangeshi. Mm -hmm. Can you say Wangeshi? Wangeshi. Said it good, right? <laughs> Nice. About Maasai Market, you'll find Kenyan artifacts, bracelets like this. I can't wait to get my bracelet. <laughs> you'll find Kenyan clothes. Yeah, can't wait for you guys to see. Nice, it's gonna be great. Let's go. I'm a tourist. <laughs> <laughs> so you said that like, I'm not a tourist. like, look like a tourist. The only thing missing is what? The Kenyan bracelet. Like you got the little baby one. Yeah, I gotta get the this big is a one. Small one. You got the small one. This yeah. is a baby one. I'm probably going to hear that a lot today. <laughs> so these are the license plates, guys. Very different. It smells like breakfast out here, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. it smells good. Uh, Kenyan breakfast. What did that lady leave me at the Airbnb? Bread <laughs> and three eggs and coffee. All right, guys, getting in an undisclosed car with tinted windows. And you may take a photo with me. No problem. You're my brother from my different mother. How can you tell? <laughs> this is your work. Do you know this ma this one? Do you know the material? What is that? Can you feel it? What's the material? This is a uh, back of a tree. Mmm, Africa. Yeah, that's nice, man. Look at that. I don't have like a lot of space in my luggage, so I'll have to get something small. No, this one you roll like this. Roll it up. Can I show you? Hold on, so like, what do you call it again? You got like... Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. So, like, so like, why do you call it that? Show me why. Okay. So that's... You know why we call it Monday? Yes. Monday you can wear like this one. Okay. And then Tuesday, it's a different color, but it's still the same. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Colors. The nice. Skinny cheetah. Skinny cheetah. Yeah. That's nice though. What is this? Cheetah. This is a cheetah? <laughs> That's a lion, man. The neck is long. That's a crazy the, looking cheetah. You look like a real tourist. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. There's Kikuyu, there's Masai, there's Kamba. Like that. Mm -hmm. This is what all the tourists get right here. What is this called? Malakai. It's a stone. We mine like this. Yeah. Oh, I like it. You feel like a warrior now, baby. Exactly. You look like a warrior. It's like a power ranger. Mm -hmm. How does it look? You like it? Mm hmm. You just want the money. I know. <laughs> this guy is good right here. I was just at Maasai Market, got a bunch of stuff. I don't know how much for it though. I gotta put my phone up because I'll get robbed. I'll be back. So you said that it's like possible to get robbed out here. Mm hmm. Don't just put your phone out there so i don't like i don't know how like i like <laughs> even the words. i have to give something is stuck then you remain with a seed inside okay. it's so nice it's so good does it like stain your teeth yeah it does yeah, good luck with that i'm not <laughs> eating it welcome to nairobi Woo! all right guys i don't know where we left off at but this rain is crazy man. African rain you know I've never seen it she wants to go to Kilimanjaro this is a really popular restaurant guys so it's pretty busy okay guys let's see what they have we gotta get something that is of the culture so what makes this place special? Original recipe for Kenyan, Kenyan dishes. It's pure mango. Pure mango? Yeah. It's no uh, sugar. It's blended mango. It's even thick. Mmm, thick. Thick. Okay, guys, food came out. So I got my shake, my burger. What are these fries called again? Chips. And the lady guy, the real food. Is it good? A1, huh? What is that dish called? Chicken biryani. Chicken biryani. Yeah. What is the chicken called again? Chicken biryani. What she said, guys. <laughs> huh? It tastes like turkey with cranberry dressing. Tastes like Thanksgiving. I like it. Good. What's this called? Rice. <laughs> Look at those colors, guys. Let's see. Good. It has like a lot of seasonings in it. It's part of the Swahili culture. They use a lot of spices, a lot of seasonings. What is it called? Yes, yes. The shoes I decided to wear in Africa. The food was good, right? But my stomach. Oh, okay. Ladies first. Are you gonna sit in the front or me? You. Me. <laughs> hey, 
Hey Nairobi, this is how I'm living. Come on in. All right guys, so first off, let me show you the living area. We've got this nice sectional right here. Look at all this space. Ah, you can just sit back, relax. Let's take them to the balcony real quick. Ah, beautiful African weather. Can't beat it, you know? Now, today it was raining. Look at that scenery right there, guys. This is the motherland, people. Come on back in and see what we got. We have a table that I don't sit at right there. The fridge. Now, I'm gonna warn you. I'm broke, baby. Let's see what we have, guys. Nothing! And this is a normal kitchen. Let me show you how deep Let's go. First bathroom here. This is for when you gotta take her. Let's go to the first bedroom. Mosquito net. Perfect. Perfect. Then we have the second bathroom. Everything's good. Everything's good. All right, let's keep going. This is a beautiful African art, guys. Beautiful people of Africa. Yeah, man. Very, very beautiful. We are in Africa. This room is just a place where I do my stuff. When you come to Nairobi, you're gonna wanna get a charger that's suitable for this country. I had to buy that charger specifically for here. The final bathroom in the bedroom. We have a whole other bathroom right here. I like this one. It has the sliding. Ah, this is an apartment on the 12th floor penthouse. Very, very big. And it just has like a lot of space. Like it wasn't that expensive either. So if you guys want to check this out, if you come to Nairobi, leave a comment. I'll make sure that you know. But let me show you guys one more thing. Let's go. You guys do not have to leave, right? But you gotta get the heck out of here. We will be back, Nairobi. Peace. Guys, night walking in Nairobi with the short lady. <laughs> so where are we headed right now? We're headed to Yaya Center mm. to buy some groceries. Groceries. Food. You're gonna cook. Do you want me to cook? Yes, I do. Maybe okay, that's perfect. And like the side of the street stuff is weird because like <laughs> the cars are coming from different directions. Talk to you later. Peace. Okay. Sam, Sam. It's so chilly, but very addictive. What is this? Fruit Loops? They're not Fruit Loops, they're just rings. Wow. Yeah, wow. And they're called Wow. I didn't even know that. I just said Wow. So this is the Kenyan chef. This is not Guys, we're going to do a Kenyan snack video very chilly very chilly but very addictive mm. so, I'm not saying no so guys well, like when i was in mexico like i had oranges that look messed up if they don't have this black things then it means it, it has been injected with those chemicals from from the farm tropical heat waves potato crisp salt and vinegar Let's see what they're talking about Good morning from Kenya, guys. I woke up to the soft life here. So we have oranges, we have plantain, and we have fried egg. And what's this called again, my dear? I'm about to dig into this food and I'll be back. 2000, Smiram Chumoja. This is called the Huru Park. Chopping that tree. Chop that tree for the country, baby. Kenya! <laughs> he is up there chopping a tree. Like, this is crazy. I don't know if I didn't say hi. Good morning, guys. This is the new Airbnb that I'm at. It's a totally different one. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> I'm just like looking at that. Here's the pool, guys. We have a gym right there. I don't think the pool is that deep. It's actually cold right now, so I won't be jumping in this. <laughs> Why don't we see African American coming to Africa? Like here in Nairobi, we, we rarely see African Americans. Wow, okay. We, yeah, we only see white Americans and we want to see more of African Americans. Mm, you, listen guys, you guys heard it from a Kenyan himself. So my answer would be, I think that some people are scared to come. Uh -huh. I don't know why they're scared. Maybe it's because of the false stuff that they see on TV. Uh -huh. And I think another reason is because money. I mean, like it's not a, it's not a cheap trip. So I didn't care about the money, man. Like I, I gotta come, come home, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. this is the motherland. Yeah, we are very happy to see African Americans here, because there is a lot of things they will get to see. We, we they will be welcomed home. Mm. Yeah, a lot of white Americans they love Africa, but mm. we, we wonder why are we, are we not seeing African Americans? You guys want to see more of us? Yeah, if uh, African Americans came, we would not tell the difference. Exactly. Because we all look the same. Right. So like if I didn't talk, you would have thought that I was a Kenyan, right? Yes. Until you spoke, that's when I knew, oh, <laughs> you're African-American. Yo, this is a good drive right here, guys. So like you guys heard it first. He's, he said he wants to see more 
African Americans here, and I think that it should be more. I think that we should move back, to be honest, but that's a whole nother story. But yeah, man, so you guys heard it. Good morning, guys. Reporting live from Kenya. Today is gonna be a fun day. Listen, we are headed to Nairobi National Park. Currently 5.55 a.m. Kenya time. We're gonna head up there in a four by four. It's gonna be amazing. I'm ready to see these animals, man. Like I'm truly excited. I truly wanna see the wildlife of Africa. Are you ready to go to Nairobi National Park? Yes, I am. Are you? I am. You've like been before, right? Yep, as a little kid. We used to go for school trips. Oh wow, that's like cool to go for school trips. Man. I know. Mefika. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. We're about to head out there now, and we'll see you. Bye. How do you like the? Uh... It's nice. It's big. It's big, man. Look at this, guys. Like this is the four by four. We could pop our hands out of here, right? Oh <laughs> shit. Just got dark. Put it back. So this is your first time to safari? Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> Very excited. We hope the best today. Let's hope we can get the lions. Yeah, I want to see all of them. <laughs> So guys, you have to get health screenings. That's like the precautions that they take. Very safe. Here, this is the entrance. Yeah, nice. this is the entrance. This is the main entrance. Why would they show elephants there knowing that they don't have any? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the reason they don't uh, allow el elephants in this park because it's small and the vegetation is not enough for, for elephants to, to, to stay here. So you're going to pay here pay for here. the entrance fee. Okay, future resident. <laughs> You have to pay to get in, of course. I told her I was a future Kenyan resident. I'm trying to get this one. You know. Do my video. Okay. We are now in the park. We're working as a team. You wouldn't walk out here. Oh, no. <laughs> not allowed. <laughs> oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey! Look like a hippo from the back or something. <laughs> we have a Kenyan friend down there. So what are these signs telling you where to go? Okay guys, we see the Impala. We are approaching. Beautiful. It's like it has to be safe over here because they're just standing around. Whole family. Beautiful color. Wow, guys. We're matching, y'all. Oh! Oh! No! That's Jeffrey the Giraffe. <laughs> Playing around, running. These animals are living life. I'm gonna put the name down below, guys. Oh, he's looking right at me like, why are you here? <laughs> Look at that. I wouldn't want to run into him, boys. Woo! Yo. That's what I'm talking about. He getting away. Amazing, man. Going extinct, you know, so seeing that in the somewhat natural habitat is amazing. It's right there. The arms length, basically. Thompson Gazelle. Thompson Gazelle. Woo! He's right there in the flesh. Jeff. Oh. The big pup bottle rocked this car. Welcome to the animal kingdom. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why do we think this is so safe? What if a lion was over here? Right now we're in like the rest area at Nairobi National Park. This thing is heavy duty. Toyota Land Cruiser 4x4, crazy. Sticking the head out like a freaking tortoise head, you know what I mean? Whenever you need a safari, go with extra miles. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. I see. Y'all are smart. You want some food? Uh, you talk about lifespan, how long can those live? Yeah. Hell. What's up, twin? You see me? I'm trying to bring the travel channel to life, baby. This is what they kill animals over, people. Sick, sick people. Goodbye, Nairobi National Park. Hi. Till we meet again. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Walking down a street in Kenya. I don't know where I'm at, but <laughs> what's this street called? Give way. So we got people walking, we got all types of stuff. Look at these cars, guys. Completely different style. Driving on the other side of the road is confusing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's so weird. <laughs> I'm scared to cross these streets, y'all. Said we could go. I'm not going. Let's go. Oh, 
This is crazy. They're gonna hit you. Bro. Oh, this is like a brazo, so no one can touch me. If they do, it's their fault. You're still dead. Fresh fruit, guys. Walking in the dirt. Experiences. Oh, you get your little basket, okay. Got my fruit. Nairobi's a weird place to film in because there's a lot of places you can't film at. Walking into Prestige Mall, people. Be careful, No film. So guys, like I'm in the mall right now and like it looks like an iPhone picture is put up in a store. <laughs> I love Kenya, but yo, that is crazy. Boiled egg. Boiled egg, okay. In Kenya, nice. Tell me whether it's sweet. Tell me whether it's okay. Let me try it. It's not sweet. It tastes more like a. Like what? Like egg just with pepper. What does it taste like with this? Yes, that's, that's, what what that's, that's a smoky. This is what you get in the streets. Nice. Okay. Just small biting. They're just biting. Just like I was telling her. But it was like okay. I think it would have tasted better if I would have had the yeah, smoky smoky in there with it. <laughs> Just a little tidbit when you're eating street food in Kenya. That would be like a dope video to do. Eating Kenyan street food. What you think? Mm-hmm. Be nice. I might have to do that. All right, y'all. What's going on, guys? I'm supposed to be going to the mall today here in Nairobi. I can't even edge myself up with my clippers because I have to get some new clippers just for Kenya. I'm about to run and hopefully we can find the right kind of clippers. Let's go catch this Uber. Nairobi traffic is insane. Ay! What's going on guys? Here in Nairobi, had to buy some clippers, man. Well, make sure that you guys get that adapter. It's super busy where I'm at, as you can see, people moving, people shaking. My Uber's calling, I'll be back. Ooh. All right, guys, just walking through the streets of Nairobi right now. Just mailed off some postcards. It wasn't it wasn't that expensive at all. Honestly, don't know where I'm going, but I'm just walking around showing you guys the views. What's going on, guys? Reporting live from the Village Market here in Nairobi, Kenya. I'm trying to find something to eat. I am starving. It's currently 2.52 on this day. I am here with a Kenyan citizen, you know what I mean? And she is going to assist us <laughs> in what to eat. Let her say hello. Okay, what's your name? Ashley. Ashley, nice to meet you. <laughs> what are we eating, Ashley? Because I'm starving. I'm we're still trying to figure it out because he wants to eat Kenyan food and I'm just like, ain't not much Kenyan food in Kenya, strangely <laughs> enough, so I don't know what we're going to eat, but we're still trying to figure it out. Tell us about the village market. It's mostly where our diplomats live, so where all our embassies are all located. It's quite a posh area than most areas, so... We're about to try to find something to eat, so we'll get back to you guys. Alright guys, we decided on Nyama Mama Express. Now, what are you getting? I have no idea. Oh man, she has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we're in Kenya. I want to get something that's African influenced, but she said like where we're at, it's very bougie. Like there's a lot of, um, how can I say, American looking people here. And like it kind of made sense too, because when I was passing by here, I was seeing mansions. And I'm like, I didn't see any of that closer towards the city of Nairobi. So that's interesting right there. This is actually one of the places that I wanted to go to. Let me just show you guys a little bit of the mall, because it is a very dope spot. <laughs> Okay guys, so I went with the Mama's Choma Hot Dog. Yeah, so that's what I'm going with. I hope it tastes good. Okay guys, so I got the Mama's Choma Hot Dog. It looks amazing. I don't know what's all on it, but it looks great. Got some ketchup. What did you get, Miss Ashley? Uh, just a plain chicken wrap. That's it. Have you like had that before? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, well we're about to eat, guys. I'm gonna tell you how it is. Peace. Okay guys, so the food came up to 1,050 Kenya shillings. Not bad at all. It's a little different over here. Okay, Ashley, so where are we at right now? What are we uh, drinking? Red Wolfo Mama's. So I'm having an espresso milkshake. What are nice. you having? I'm having an Oreo milkshake. Now, honestly, I don't typically have that on top, but I'm not gonna complain. I don't do the whipped cream and all that type of stuff. But I think I might marry a Kenyan girl. I don't know, like, I'm kind of like in between. Oh God, this is sick, guys. <laughs> Kenyan women seem to be very um, nice. Is that like the case? Yeah, we're all nice until you get to know us. Yeah, we're <laughs> until definitely you get all to know. nice. Like you gotta film like this so they don't even know it. Yeah, they don't even know. Follow the leader, guys. Follow the African leader. Pretty. 
the best women are reside in Africa, and that's real. What is it like living in Nairobi, Kenya? I mean, I love it. Always have sunshine, good weather, a land of opportunities. I mean, that's why everyone comes here. Really? I love it. <laughs> Welcome to Africa, Jackson. Nice. Thank you for showing me around. Beautiful. All right, y'all. Peace. Chilling in downtown Nairobi. Like, I'm not going to do a lot of walking because... Can I get a heat check? Heat check. Keep living life. That's the key. All right, y'all. About to get in this movie. Peace. The next morning. I just wanted to take the time out, guys, and show you that it is the dead of winter back in the States. But right now, I'm in shorts a t-shirt and look at this view guys Good morning, Africa. I want to make this my reality Africa it's amazing man I really made it let me give you one last view of this what I'm waking up to every day here in Nairobi Kenya that guy that's different man this is the weather I want right here every day of my life Something like this. Yeah, right now we're just at the Prestige Mall. She came to get some of this stuff right here, but the guy was trying to rip her off, so she didn't get it. <laughs> you still can't do that. You can't take pictures? Mm -mm. How hard do you think it is to uh, get a hold of the president of Kenya? Hey. Um, a tube tube. Those like cheaper than Uber, right? Yeah, very, very cheap. Very, How much very is that? Cheap. Probably like 50 Small. shillings per person. All right, guys, headed to get the fresh haircut. It's called Authentic Cuts. Right now we're in the chair getting a fresh cut. Look at that ambiance. You good? <laughs> the whole process is very professional, very relaxing too. Um, very relaxing to be honest. Come check us out. Okay, to cut. Blessed to be next time. Nairobi, Kenya, right? Nairobi, Kenya. All right, All right. appreciate you, bro. Cheers, man. Shopping, guys. <laughs> guys, authentic Kenyan street food. Ugali. Beef. Chapati. Chapati. Show my body in Chapati. <laughs> This is so good. Oh my god. Look at this. So this is the best we've had. Yes. Better than samosa. Yes. So good. Come to Kenya, eat authentic. Time to eat. Peace. At the Giraffe Center, guys. Is this where we pay? Right, okay. 1,900, guys. I asked her, can I be a citizen? <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited to go to the Giraffe Center? I am. Have you been here before? Just once. Jeff is waiting for you. That's my hero. Giraffes! Yeah, welcome. Thank you. Pick up them. Give me giraffe food. Oh, okay. The food is only given once. Mm. So ah. make use of the food. So this is the food that they hand you when you come in. Look at them just chilling. Please watch out for giraffe headbutts. Don't want that one, guys. There you go. Oh, she knows. She ain't stupid. <laughs> she, I love you. We want that guy to get up right there, Eddie. That is the king. We have to respect him. Look at him. All right, I knew you were coming. Come on. Come on. Oh, I love this, guys. This really makes me happy, man. It's like a feel-good type thing. Can you do me a favor? Can you go over there and tell Eddie we want to sing? <laughs> Please? Imagine trying to do this with lines. There will be a lot of hands missing. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of <laughs> fingers going. Nine. The sanctuary Woo! has been ah, able to So, guys, right there is Giraffe Manor, where people feed the giraffes. Guys, Pumba is walking. Look at him strutting his stuff. Strut your stuff then, Pumba. It was a perfect shot. Came straight over to us. What's up, babe? Whoa, not yet, baby. Whoa. Here's the Lion King over here. You got a giraffe right here and a warthog right here. Giraffe are one of the most iconic and easily recognizable mammal species in Africa. A lot of information on the beautiful animal, guys. Uh huh. And, oh, yo, oh! I told you. 
We want that guy to get up right there, Eddie. We said his name was Ed, and like that's probably Ed right there, man. You get the last one, you're special. All right, love you guys, see you later. Bye. Guys, make sure you come to the Giraffe Center. Life changing. Hello. Hello. Thank you. For cough and stomach, oh, I need this for stomach ailments. I need it, Croton. Beautiful, yeah. guys. See, all of the medicines you need are going to be here. People think you got to go to the doctor. No, this is the real medicines. All this, guys. Treats chest pains. See, that, that, would, that would treat that. East Africa. Walking through the jungle in Africa, guys. Hit that like button. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get, yeah. Now, now we're getting scary, baby. We don't know what's in there. We don't know what's in there, y'all. We don't know what. Oh, you heard that though, didn't you? Warthog. <laughs> she said, "Wow, where is it?" Nice, Juan Gacy. So this is the Gogo River, guys. It's pretty dried up. Probably when it rains, it gets filled up. Get up out of your scared zone. From the Kenyas. Green Guys, you have to come to Giraffe Center. It's beautiful, man. It is. Gentle giants. Support this because this uh, helps animals that are in danger too. So it's for a good cause. Yes. All right, guys, that was fun. On to the next adventure. How do we say goodbye, Swahili, again? Quahere. Quahere. We made it, guys. Pizza in. Creamy in. Chicken in. Let's go in. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, guys, we have chicken in, creamy in, and pizza in. I look so excited about getting this. She told me this is the spot, so we're about to dig in, guys. All right, guys, let me just try to chip. Mmm. No hot sauce, right? No. Is it spicy? She didn't do it, guys. Oh, no, she didn't. I don't know. Really good, though. Normally, like, pepperoni comes with all this on it. It's weird, guys, but hopefully it tastes good. I'll get back to you. So tell us where we are, Miss Wanda. We are in Rongai, my this hometown. Her hometown. Yeah. She's proud and she's happy. It's very, very busy here, right? Yeah, very busy. You sure I can come over here? Yeah. Dude, this is crazy, y'all. We in real Africa, man. Oh. So what are we doing on this one, Gershi? We're in the Matatu. Our first one, right? Why are these popular? It's cheap. You don't have a cup. Hey, you good. Use this. But I gotta tell y'all the funniest thing that just happened. In pizza and chicken and cream. And I'm asking this one, Gershi, I'm like, yo, like, so you're gonna take the Matutu from here to Nairobi. <laughs> She was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one. Yeah. That's so area seems like it's popping though. There's like a lot of people out here. How much does this cost to get from here to where we're going? All of these guys are trying to trying to get them money, right? I'm like tagging that door, y'all. Did y'all hear that? Tag that motherfucker. This is the real deal, y'all. <laughs> so guys, we're just chilling and we might play this game murder right here. Look at that beautiful view. <laughs> this one day she chilling. And I asked her, have you ever had pretzels? And she looked at it like it was a foreign object. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say when I asked you? I've never had them. Y'all don't even sell pretzels here. I don't know if they sell or not, but I've never had them. So you've never seen these right here, pretzels? No. Uh, Pretz, pretz? Pretzels. Pretzels. How do you spell that? P-R-E-T-Z-E-L-S. Pretzel. 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 <laughs> we gotta get you some. <laughs> All right, guys, me and Juan Geshe got some breakfast. One thing about Kenya Wangeshi, you won't go hungry. There's street food everywhere. Onions, tomatoes, and chili. The, the and, green. And, and a little bit of ham too. Okay. 
Okay. That's a real Kenya warrior, y'all. <laughs> Where are we, Miss Wangeshi? We are at the Nairobi Club. Yeah. Nairobi Club. This is a nice vibe, man. I feel like the Fresh Prince in Nairobi, guys. So, Miss Wangeshi, tell us why the Nairobi Club is so special as she drinks her red wine. <laughs> it's for exclusive members. You have to be a member. Yes. If you're not a member, it gets expensive for you. So, I have been privileged to be a member. Why we came here today, I've been having a lot of winning lately. Winning? Yes. And I decided to celebrate with Jackson. Oh man, this is the greatest man. And to say thank you, yes, to also thank you oh, for wow. coming to Kenya. Oh wow. And choosing me. Ooh, don't make me cry. And <laughs> for being a pain in the ass sometimes. <laughs> just to say thank you. Oh, that's so nice, Juan Gaishi. Well, thank you. <laughs> I like expect her to say nothing too nice like that, guys. I just wanted to drink my lemonade and <laughs> eat my food. This is coming towards the end of the end of my trip, so I had a great trip. You know, we got a couple more things up our sleeve, man. We're gonna have some fun, so we'll get back when the food is back. Peace, guys. The food came out. Are you gonna tell them what you got, Miss Wangeshi? I got rice, stuffed fried pork with vegetables. Mmm. I got steak flopped on top of some fries, guys. I'm ready to eat. We'll be back. Be friends now? And you say, yeah, all right, cool. Get some more. Boop. Ice cream in Nairobi. Okay, so this is where we were eating at, guys. Look at that. Very beautiful. And Miss Wangeshi said this is the executive part. Thank you. I think Kenyan women are known for monkeys. What? That's my friend's look. Nairobi Club Squash Courts. Whoa, just heard something in there. Scary. Tallest building in Kenya, guys, right there. Mm. All right, guys, made it to Two Rivers Mall. Say hi, Wangeshi. Hi. So, like, is this like the biggest mall in Kenya, too? Yeah. Oh, so you can just buy a whole bunch of African clothing right here. I know. It's like a mini Maasai market. <laughs> this literally is Maasai market. Hey, look at that giraffe, though, man. That's kind of dope. Hey, this is the funny stuff. So, huh. <laughs> she wants to go here, right? Yeah. And I want to go here. <laughs> this is where I want to go. This be calling me, man. Be calling me, man. Food is here, guys. Chicken in. Pizza in. Creamy in. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So like the look like. How is the spaghetti from Pizza in? Mm. Okay. Okay. A bit less salty. Okay, Juan Juan. <laughs> guys, this chicken in is way better than the other one because it's actually spicy. All right, guys, this is the biggest Ferris wheel in Africa, the Eye of Kenya. You just kind of get on it while it's still moving. Mm -hmm. She's never been on a Ferris wheel, guys. <laughs> now she's on the tallest one in Africa. In Africa. She's trying to get a little nervous, yeah. huh? <laughs> this is Gotta get mom a mug wherever I go. Kenya! This is bittersweet, guys. I am going to miss this Airbnb, man. So many good memories. That bathroom was crazy. <laughs> so I'm going oh, to I'm definitely gonna miss one, guess you. But yeah, this is, man, this Airbnb was the best one I probably ever stayed in, to be honest. This is my storage room right here. Goodbye, storage room. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. And as you notice, I keep everything fresh and clean because the, uh, the woman who cleans it is a good lady. She said, you're like the best guest ever. You're very clean, so. Yeah, man. I'm gonna miss this place. And we even left her a gift, didn't we, Wangeshi? What did we leave her? Yeah. Let me wait for it. <laughs> Thank you, Adele. Thank you, Africa. This view, guys. Man, how could you not miss this? One of my most bittersweet endings to a to a vacation, man. A little more than a vacation. Like I felt like I learned myself. I, I've experienced a different culture. It was very uh, very eye opening, man. Appreciate you for watching it. Thank you for coming along with me on this crazy journey. And I hope this video motivates you to see whatever it is you want to see 
in this world. Because best believe, the world is yours. You can have anything you want in it. All right, God, until next time, stay blessed. Peace. To the lovely Miss Wangeshi, I couldn't have asked for a better person to explore Kenya with. I gained a lifelong friend. Keep that beautiful spirit. And to Mother Africa, you greeted me with open arms. It was our first time meeting, but it won't be our last. Your beauty is unmatched. One love. Peace. I love you, Africa!